Hello there, so today we've got a review of an eyeshadow palette that I actually spent a little bit of money on. If you have not watched my channel before, you probably won't be aware, but I tend to buy a lot of like super affordable makeup from AliExpress, from eBay. Uh, so for me to actually treat myself to like, I don't want to say a proper palette because that's disrespectful to all of my AliExpress, fantastic and fantastically affordable palettes, but this is a palette that was over five pounds basically. So anyway, we're just gonna get into this today. The palette that I'm gonna be reviewing right now is the Lime Crime Venus X1 palette. When I saw pictures of this, I literally like tripped over my vagina and I just said, wow. There was something about this palette that just really drew me in. It cost £45, I got it from Cult Beauty and I've been wearing this all week so that I could give a thorough review and just so that I could give you like the info on it. But this is what the palette looks like, it's full of purples, it's got this beautiful corally pinky shade in the middle, you've got a few shimmers but the majority of the eyeshadows are mattes. It comes in this quite chunky um, kind of cardboard uh, kind of packaging, it's got a big mirror there. And then you've got a picture of, is it like Botticelli? Botticelli's Ho? I don't know who she is, but I know she's very gorgeous. So she's there on the front. I actually really, really like the packaging. For £45, the actual formula didn't blow me away as much as I thought it might. As I mentioned earlier, I buy a feck load of affordable eyeshadow palettes on AliExpress. And when I first tried this, the eyeshadows reminded me a lot of the eyeshadows in those palettes, which I love, but I don't know why. I think because this was like £45, I was obviously expecting something a little bit different. Uh, that's not to say I don't love the eyeshadow formulas in my cheaper palettes, but just a little bit of a kind of, oh, what the feck, you know, kind of moment. Uh, I'd say the shimmers are pretty shit in this palette, rather disappointingly. They're not terrible, but Considering that some of my like five pound palettes have shimmers that are just a bomb to the diggity to the to the balls and the vagina, then I just feel like these shimmers were like just not anything special. And I definitely prefer the mattes in this palette. Although one thing that I will say is I do find that you do have to like really build up the colours, and that's not to say that they're sheer because they're not, they're fairly pigmented. But as you're blending, you know, you just blend, blend, blending, I find that the colour washes away and you're kind of like, excuse me, like what? This is not meant to happen. I blended, I put a lot of wrist action into this and they're just fecking off. Like seriously, I find that happens a lot with this palette, you know, but all that being said, I do believe like it's a beautiful palette. I've really enjoyed using it for the past seven days. I've not got bored of it. I have created a different look every single day. So I definitely don't regret spending £45 on it, but if I had to like compare the quality of this to say my cheaper palettes from, let me just show you just in case you're not familiar with them. The Sunset Dust Palette by Beauty Glaze. This is the I Got You palette also by Beauty Glazed. This is the Almighty Ball Breaking Twilight palette by Fockel Your. The shimmers in here are beautiful. If I was to compare this palette with those palettes in terms of the quality, I definitely wouldn't say that this palette was um, like better quality, I'd say that it was just kind of on par. Uh, this is the first Lime Crime eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried. I've tried their liquid lipsticks, uh, but I've never tried like eyeshadows from them and I definitely wouldn't say they were anything special. Uh, but what I do really love about this palette is the shades all being like brought together in the one palette. I just think they're gorgeous. If you're a fan of purple and pinks, I think you're gonna like it. Um, but let me just tell you this like really quickly. I know I know everyone wants to get onto the swatching, like I totally get it, but let me just show you this. So yesterday I did a first impression of this palette um, that I got from AliExpress. This one was £4.69 and I created like such a similar look to the kind of look that I've created with the uh, Venus palette. Uh, the shades don't look like super, super similar, but you can definitely see there's like that corally shade, there's the pinky shade. Uh, so there are some kind of similar shades in here and I was amazed by how close the look actually was. Okay, so let's get into some swatches right now. I haven't even swatched this palette yet either. So this one is Eden and this is a shimmer. I'll just swatch that one there. 
you see what I mean? Like, it just looks pretty shit, you know, for like £45. Like, don't get me wrong, I really love the palette, but I, I just expected more, you know, because I have not actually treated myself to a higher end, like, eyeshadow palette in ages. So I feel like I was had high expectations. I'm just going to stick with my AliExpress from, in future, I think. But anyway, so we have uh, Passion and we've got Love. Passion's a matte. Love is a shimmer. So that's Passion. There we go. Next, we've got one of my favourite shades. It's this kind of, it's like a grey, taupey, like shimmer and it's got little gold glitters in it. Um, I do feel like, like this is a super unique shade and I really, really love it. This is it. And I'm going to just swatch Inspire and Idolized. Idolized, I've been using a lot for a transition shade. So that one's Idolized. Love that one. This one was Inspire, which is a shimmer. It looks crap. And this one is my favorite, well, one of my favorites, Fresca. Okay. Next, we've got Aphrodite, which is a matte, New Classic, which is a shimmer, and Burnt Gold. Also, one thing to mention, the majority of these shimmers do have uh, lots of little glitters in them, just to note. They do feel very, very soft, but like as you can see, they're not the most pigmented. But also, just to mention at this point, the disclaimer, please like only take these swatches with a grain of salt, because at the end of the day, like swatches lie. They lie to you. They're like your nurse when you're having a smear test and they say, oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. It will not be uncomfortable at all. Just close those eyes. Just think of your massive dildo collection. They don't say that, but I mean, really. So you'll close your eyes and then it's painful. And you're just like, what the heck? Got Flora, which is a beautiful coral. A scallop, I've used that loads. A Celestial, which I've not used yet. Sorry that I've got my big, like, granny cardigan on, but it's freezing here. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but it's freezing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so next we've got Ethereal, Shimmer, Triumph, Matte, and then Supreme, which is kind of like a, I don't know, maybe like a satiny shade formula, what, whatever. Oh, elbow swatch. Oh my gosh, is that not like the worst swatch ever? I don't blame that on the shadow. I blame that on my knobbly as feck elbow. I mean, really, guys. Okay, so now we have come to the last. I'm just going to swatch two. I'm not going to swatch the pearly one because we're not going to be able to see it. I've got it on my eyes. I just used it to set my eyes. So, okay, we're going to swatch Goddess and Botticelli. Botticelli in your face, Goddess. Okay, let's do these. I'll swatch these on my hand. That feels really dry. There we go. Okay, seem to like stain a little bit. Look at this. Oh, my the aunt sarah oh my gosh look at my eye right now <gasps> my gosh it looks like i've got some incurable but highly contagious arm disease that i probably picked up in tesco i'm just like what the feck actually you're going to begin by going into this pinky shade and then this like tan shade okay so i just kind of mix the two and just pop them into my crease And you see, they're very pigmented, they give a lovely wash of colour, and they're very easy to blend. The next shade that I'm going to apply is the beautiful corally shade. Um, I love this shade, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to tap, 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 that sexy little bitch. Okay, so look at that. I mean, look at that beautiful coral shade. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but what I will say is... In that Han Diane palette that I mentioned earlier, that I tested yesterday, there's a very similar coral shade in with a little bit of scallop. And I'm a scallop, that's a funny word, isn't it? Uh, a scallop. You could really offend someone, I feel, by calling them a scallop. Like, you fecking scallop. I mean, really, that would be far more hurtful to me than if someone called me a thought, which I have been called, by the way, a fecking thought. Thought. I mean, really? Okay. Okay, right, so there we go. What I'm going to do as well, just while I think ahead, I'm going to just change my brush and I'm going to just go under the eye and I'm going to go under with the coral shade and with a little bit of scallop. Scallop. 
I do feel like, you know, with like pinky based kind of shades, like you do have to be like a little bit wary because they will automatically make it look like you are some kind of crack addict. But I, for one, really appreciate that look. Like I'm not in any way supporting like crack or anything, but like, I like that grungy kind of look of, I don't know, I just like it. It's a little bit messy, a little bit sassy, and I just love it. Next, I'm gonna pop on my favorite shade, which is a Fresca. This is that kind of like gray taupe that's got little uh, bits of gold glitters in. Let's just pop that right on with my finger. Look at that, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm just gonna go in with my brush now just to pack on another layer. And I am getting quite a bit of fallout, which is, oh, Shania Twain, I mean, really? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of fallout right now, which is just fecking me off marginally. It's not like fecking me off enough for me to want to do anything about it at that point. Do you feel like that when you're doing your makeup? You're like, oh, well, I'm not 100% fecked, so I'm, I'm not going to do anything about it right now. But anyway, okay, so I've popped that shade onto my lid. I don't... Okay, so this is the moment when I'm kind of playing around because... I feel like I'm going to put a little bit of this passion shade and I'm going to just put that into the crease. I want this to like merge that coral shade with the taupey shade I've just applied to the lid. Just pop a bit so guys, I've changed my mind. I'm going to pop a, another shade onto my lid and I'm going to go for Mosaic. This is a very soft and this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a coppery shade but it's like a warm toned copper so I'm just going to pop this onto my lid. I feel like it looks a bit messy now, but I promise once I've put the mascara on and probably fixed around a little bit more, it will look okay. So I'll be back in just one sec. How the fuck am I actually going to remember like, exactly what I put on this side because like, I have no idea. But let's hope. Keep those fingers crossed for me, guys. Okay, so she's back. This is the final look. I just put a little bit of um, a black eyeliner on my waterline, did my mascara. Put a little bit of a liquid lipstick on. This is Cashmere by Lime Crime, which I thought was only fitting. And yeah, so this is the final kind of look. I really do like this palette. If you have spotted this palette and like me, your makeup junkie like senses were just like going mental, then I don't think you would be disappointed if you were to buy it. Like, like I'm definitely very happy with the palette. Uh, I think that it is very versatile. You can get lots of different looks from it. And the eyeshadows are very easy to work with. Um, for me, the only issue is it's £45. Do I think it's worth £45? Probably not. And the reason why I say that is only because I... And I know I keep banging on about this like a broken record, but the reason why I say no is because I've tried so many eyeshadow palettes that are under £5 and they're the same as this in terms of the quality and actually the shimmers are a bit better. So I don't necessarily think it's worth £45. Like an ABH palette, uh, like Modern Renaissance, I would definitely say yes, that is an exceptional palette. Uh, I even love, love the Jeffree Star and Rogini palette, so I think they're worth the money. Javai's Place palettes, worth the money. But with this one, mm, 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 not really. You know what I mean? Oh, oh Shania, oh my gosh. Oh, my stool just bit me. Like, literally, it bit me on oh, my bum. Like, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Seriously, stool, I'm going to have to get a new stool at some point. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the review. If I've missed anything out, if you've got any questions or anything please just ask me downstairs in the comments uh, and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll be back back again to be bitten on my bum by my fucking stool thank you for watching guys oh this is the eye look just in case I didn't show you I always think that when I film the video I get to the end and I'm like I'm in. you didn't even show the look so I'm going to just show you now just in case I didn't so there we go there's the look Da, da, da. Pretend like I've got really good editing skills and it's me going da, 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 da. bam 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 and my eyes are just like bam bam bam. I don't know how that would work. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon.